you know, when you have a patient like that who comes who's had a release procedure, you know, the the first thing you need to do really is to is to address and correct the primary problem and do the you know give them the right operation where you remove the muscles so there's nothing left compressing the nerves. Anytime a pa patient is is prone or on their stomach for a long procedure, that can uh, trigger that lateral femoral cutaneous nerve to become compressed and this, uh, you know, super superior cluneal nerves, middle cluneal nerves, the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve. The more you operate in the pelvis, if there's any kind of a bleeding complication or other problems, any of these nerves can become irritated and, and become pain generators. And it's another reason why an orthopedic surgeon is not an ideal person to be doing peripheral nerve surgery because, um, you know, they may have read about doing a release procedure and they think they have the right patient and they do that and and even if the release is is done well if there's another problem that coexists with that or there's a complication from the incision they make or whatever uh, then they really have no you know ability to figure out what else is going on and to address it. Yeah.